Okay, here's a example of a Java program we just finished. So let's build the test. It's all built. Let's get all the dependencies, all the dependencies we got have gotten, and then let's build the project and then run it. So this is a web service client, and what it does is it displays user information from a web service from the IT department. And you can select semesters, like for example, winter semester in 2014. And it takes this information and makes a request. It also takes a second because the request takes a little bit to do. And then it brings back a list of classes that are available for winter semester, which are all these ones here. The uh, dash numbers are all the se selections that are available. Like there's six CS124 sections here, and there's you know one CS246 uh, class. Like I'm in 246 of what the classes I'm in. So I'll submit. And it brings up a window showing all the students in that class with all their emails and whatnot. Uh, there's some information hidden here, so you, you couldn't really use it unless you know what you're doing. And uh, save the file, and you can say example, and then save that in documents, I guess. Save, and then go to documents, and you'll see that there it is. Save as text file which can be used to read in with the script and do whatever you're going to do with it so that's an example of the web service client and um, we'll quit out of there and uh, show you a little bit of source code real quick this is the requester this is the first one I worked on and this just uses data from the web service data to make a request and here's the post request right here and it pulls out the password here from the cookie and saves it in this variable and then it uses that variable here to make the actual request and save it and it saves it as a string array of classes and it's it's a JSON object so I had to parse the JSON object using this stuff here and um, the request is backwards which is why you'll see the plus 14 here I had to swap it and that saves it and if there's an error it saves it as a failed but there obviously wasn't an error and then it displays it so that's my web service client and uh, thank you for watching